Hey everyone, so in today's video, super quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can have um, stats that are formatted. So for example, as you can see on the scoreboard, we have 0.0, .0 nothing. If I were to click on this 100, then it would just be 100. If I were to click uh, 10,000, then it'd be 10k. So 10.0k. If hit a million, it'd be 1 million. If I click this a few times, it'd be a few hundred million. But then once we get to a billion, it's formatted as a billion. The idea for this is very, very simple, so this video will not be that long. But basically, we're using teams as a replacement for string stats. Now, strings are just text, so you can't actually have it display K or T for trillion or B for billion. So instead, we use teams to display that instead. So I go to the housing menu and go to systems. You can go to teams, and you can see I have a few teams here. Zero is our base team. We have zero K, zero M, and zero B. Accordingly, for a thousand, million, billion. You can also add more if you want. I'm gonna show you only with these four. Zero is gonna be your base, the default one, okay? And then K is gonna be a thousand, million, and billion. In reality, the zero before will never change. Of course, you can do a bit more math to actually have the decimal work. I'm not gonna show you that in this video. I'm just showing you the basics for this video. Maybe in the future I'll do an updated guide, I don't know. But now that you have those teams created, all the settings don't really matter. We're mostly focusing on the name of the team. If we do such placeholders, you can see a full list of placeholders. We're specifically looking for the player dot, there it is, team dot name. And this returns the name of the team. And I am on the zero team right now. If we go to systems and then go to scoreboard, I just want to show you the text that we're displaying. So we're displaying the stat.player slash display gold. Now this is important that it's a different stat. Um, I'm using gold, but and actually have the specific number where you're gonna make a new stat called display gold, and I'll explain how that works in a minute. We have a period and then the player.team.name. Okay, and then I'll get into the function. So there's only one function. I'm just gonna call it stat labels and we'll go inside. We have three conditionals. These are for the three bigger numbers. So billion, million, thousand, and then the default one. So let's start off with the first conditional. We check if our gold is greater than or equal to, and this is a billion, hard to see, but it is a billion. Then in the if actions, we'll start by setting the player's team to zero B for the billion. We'll also set their display gold to their gold, and then we'll divide, or we'll take our display gold and divide it by a billion. And this will just give us how many billions so it won't fill up the entire scoreboard and then we'll exit so the rest of the code here doesn't run this one pretty much the exact same thing but for a million so if our gold is greater than a million then we'll set it to a million or our team to a million set display gold to our gold and then we'll set our display gold and divide by a million exit out so the rest doesn't run i'm sure you can guess what this one is it's our gold is greater than or equal to a thousand then set it to uh, 0k, our team 0k, display gold, set that to dark gold, and then divide our display gold by 1000, exit. And then after that, we only need to display our default, which is zero stat. So we'll set our team to zero, and then we'll set our display gold to our gold, just so it displays normal. And then go to your function again, instead of going inside, right click it, and set the automatic execution to four ticks. Click on that, type in four, click on the paper there, and you're good. Okay, and now if we were to change our gold stat, um, you might have just saw there, it did say no team. Um, I don't know if that's an issue for just me. I haven't, I've only noticed it actually since starting the recording. If there is a fix and I find it later, I'll put it in the pinned comment or if someone else knows, I'll put it in the pinned comment too, or I'll pin it. But yeah, as you can see, we can increase this, it uh, changes, um, do this a few times, we'll get a billion, uh, and yeah. Yeah, really cool feature to have in housing, especially if you have stats that go to really big numbers. That's going to end off this video. I appreciate you for watching. Quick promo, if you need help with your housing or you want to talk to other creators or just be a part of events, join the Housing Hub Discord, link in the description. That's going to end off here. I do appreciate you guys for supporting. I am still currently in school, and once summer starts, um, I'll be going hard with the videos, the streams, and all that. I appreciate you sticking around and watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.